Hi, my name is Margaret and welcome to my Otsy Corner of the Internet. So, last time I reacted to BTS, we did the On Kinetic Manifesto. And now we're going to be reacting to the same thing, but it's slightly different because this one is their practice video. And yeah, yeah. I like watching the practice videos because it's like, you know, I don't, <laughs> I like watching the practice videos because it feels I feel like it's easier to look good when you have a high production value and you're in a set or on site and you have costumes and you have like, you know, but when it's like just rehearsal, I think that's when like technique and movement shows through a little bit more, maybe. Well, then on the other hand though, like when you're performing, you're not thinking as much about technique. So then like, that's when you have to rely on technique because you can't think about it. So it just has to be there, which is like almost an entirely different skill than what you actually are practicing when you're rehearsing because then you're thinking about the technique and then it's really hard to rehearse performing because when you start performing, then just like all of your thoughts leave your head and then you're just like. So yeah, but anyway, uh, <laughs> let's watch the dance practice. I'm probably gonna pause this instead of watching it all the way through, all the way through pronunciation, mark it pronunciation, because we've already watched it. And if you guys haven't seen the video where I watch it, you should go watch that one too. There's somebody hiding in the back, I see you. Twenty seconds and I already have so much to say. Um, somebody in, in the last video had commented talking about how they use white drumsticks on this black background and it makes it very much like stick out and I agree especially because all the backup dancers right now are in black and so anything that isn't you know and like black floor, black shoes, black clothing, black back curtain, the white really sticks out and it just ma it makes it even look more sharp and more more percussive than it did when they were out in like the blue skies and the gray concrete and I were they wearing white? No, they weren't wearing white. But you know, the sticks can blend in a little bit more in a bright atmosphere. But here they're very like stark and stick out. So that's one thing that I think is making it look very like pow pow. And also gives just more extension and length to the limbs. Second thing though is this is clearly like their rehearsal video so all of the dancers in this video were also in the other video but they were in like a dam in the last one so huge open space. This they're in obviously like a studio and it's a very large studio but having that many dancers in a more confined space. First of all it looks like there's like 20 more of them even though there, there's not but it it looks like there's so many people, but also the amount of energy is like vibrative. <laughs> I'm just gonna make up my new vo my own vocabulary. You know, it's like a, we took a bunch of energy and if you have a bunch of energy in like a big space, it doesn't feel like that much energy, but it, like if you compact all of that energy into like this like tiny little thing, then it's just like, hey, Vibrative. <laughs> it's like a black hole, right? I mean, unless you get into like too small of a studio and you're like 30 people in like this tiny little box and then that's just like broken nose city. You're just like, wow, wow, oh, eh. oh, sometimes dance is really a contact sport and like half of your energy is just attempting to not get hit by people's flying limbs. Yeah, that's always a fun part. It's, it's really surprising how different this feels. I know I keep on comparing it to the other video, but you know what? 
that it, it's the same piece i can't not it, it feels very much like more overwhelming if that's even possible in the smaller space and it just it, there's so much that my eye wants to watch there's one point right at the beginning of that section that we just watched where the backup dancers were like sliding and then hitting and then gliding and hitting very fun juxtaposition of hoom ha hoom ha yeah i think also that part kind of caught my eye because so much of their movement is super sharp and precise almost like geometric and so seeing a little bit of fluidity in there breaks up the choreography from becoming like monotonous. Yeah, it's just the little accents. I love a wave. This is such a small thing. But if you watch the two groups of dancers, the one group is leaving and the other group is coming on. And the group that's leaving is walking. And the ones coming on are going. It's little things like that that I think make this dance so dynamically interesting. But it's, they're things that you miss because who's going to really notice that one's walking every count and the other one's walking every other count. But like the amount of like dynamic interest that that then makes because also they're super clean so like if one of them was like off it'd be like mm. but because they're so clean and it is different it adds like this like extra layer <laughs> so cool i also think that this is really interesting use of the space and again this isn't really something i guess i don't know what this was in the other video but when it's put in a space again confined you can see little things like this the uneven balancing of dancers in the space right now stage left um stage right the left of the screen <laughs> stage right but left of the screen is way heavier and even now, like here, you have people dancing on center and then you have a line of, what is that, like 12 people on the stage right and then stage left is just completely empty. And oh, I, I talked about like kinetic versus potential energy and I don't know if that was their inspiration, but I feel it. It almost feels like the whole stage like wants to like tilt. Um, it feels like they're playing with building up all this energy on one side of the stage so that you're like, what's going to happen with all that empty space on the other side, right? Um, it's the imbalance of energies is so cool and how that's being played with within like, the, like mm, mm, what do we call this? <laughs> Geographical? Oh my gosh, what is the word? <laughs> Distribution of people within the space? Yeah, let's go with that. Then we have all of the dancers coming over to this side of the space. And then we have the three BTS members filling in that gap of emptiness. So then it's like all of like that, like buzzing potential energy around the emptiness of like, why is it being filled is now filled. And so it draws our eye because it everything was so weighted to one side that now we've filled that space. And it's like, oh. I, I wish I had words. I just, I don't, it's, it's, uh, it's so explosive. <laughs> like, it's just like, wow. I think one of the things that they do really nicely in this particular section is uh, throwing. Uh, when you're moving that quickly, you can't like muscle like 
and grip to move your arms. You have to kind of be able to like flow it um, and uh, yeah, like throw it around. I don't know, like if you're throwing like a football or something, it's gonna move faster if you just throw it instead of like, and like walking it over to the guy. <laughs> that was a terrible, terrible metaphor, but like it's, it's true. Not that I've ever been able to throw like a nice spiral football, but you know, I know the mechanics of it. I think because they're being so throwy with things, it, it's like they're throwing like uh, the energy off of them. Like when a dog is like all wet and they're like, also known as they shake, uh, <laughs> they like throw off the water, right? That's kind of what they're doing, but like throwing off the energy. And then us as the recipients are like, ah, 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 catching the energy. So they have like this very like, you know, they're throwing it, but it's still like controlled, but they're, you know, they're throwing it. They're not like muscling it off. They're throwing it. But they also find um, accents. I, I think that when they go up down is a good, a good illustration of this because it, they're, they're not muscling it. But they're also not just like blah, like flailing it. They find um, like, oh, like if you're throwing a football, there's like a point of release when you kind of have to snap it because it's leaving your hand, right? So they have like a moment of like snapping it and then like the recovery. So it's not just flinging, throwing about. There's like a certain moment of snap. I probably look like one of those guys outside of car dealerships right now. Just... I think there also, it's a very, this is a very different feeling. It's less throwy there for a little bit. A little less throwy, a little bit more smooth. My favorite part. <laughs> I don't know why I like it when they switch the drumsticks. I love that little part because he does like a little like do 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 ba do boop with his feet, but he does it so casually that you wouldn't even notice. It still kind of looks like he's just like, you know, like a little. I I really want to say kitty cat in a party right now. I don't know what a kitty cat would be doing at a party, but that's kind of how I feel, you know. But he's actually like still doing full out dance moves just with a different emphasis so that it looks like he's just a little kitty cat at a party. We're back to this very flowy. Not flowy. I keep on saying flowy. It's not flowy. I also really like, and this is not something that's necessarily like related to this specific piece. But I really like how they bring back like choruses, but in dance so that there's recognizable movement. And it's not the same every time. And that time they had like a different intro and then they came back with the hands to the ground. But I really like how there's callbacks so that I as like an audience member can be like, I remember that part. Cause then it makes me feel like I'm included. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I go to like concert contemporary dances and there's like 30 minute pieces and everything is new and there's no callbacks. And I'm sitting there by the end just being like, this is really good, but I'm overwhelmed and I kind of don't know what I'm watching anymore. <laughs> it's such a, that, that's such a good build up. Just having each one of the members like leave one by one. It's a really like, I don't want to say low energy because it's not low energy, but like compared to the what 
the rest of what they've been doing. It's like a low energy walk off, but it still holds like the same amount of like, intention that the rest of the piece has. I love a good walk too. <laughs> Okay, the I I really love the 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 sticks on the black background and just like the the visual effect that that creates of just them like flashing up and down and like I don't know it may, I think it just makes the movement seem so much more like crisp and sharp. It also kind of highlights uh, mistakes probably, but it, it it's very similar to um like Michael Jackson had his glove, we all know that. Um, but I think it was him where also like, he would like put like tape like on his fingers just because like that like pop of color would draw your attention and your focus. So like if you ha have one glove on, then all of a sudden, you know, you're like, ha ah, then everybody's like, ooh, cause it's just like dynamic intrigue where your eye will go to that. Um, same reason with like when I was growing up, they'd be like, okay, we're gonna wear gloves for this dance. But then it was like, if you wear gloves for a dance, everybody's fingers have to be like the exact same, right? Because if you're just watching a dance and somebody's hand is like this and somebody else's is like this, not really a big deal. All of a sudden you put gloves on that and people are like, this is the messiest dance I've ever seen in my entire life. And you're like, okay, well, this is a fifth grade dance recital. But also like gloves just emphasize the hands. So the hands better be like, can you tell that I'm really jazzed? I'm talking with my hands so much today. <laughs> oh, I love the... We're gonna back it up. I need more time to process. Um, two things, first of all. I love when people like are like, ow! let's go in dance class it is it is a different world like when you have people hyping you up on the side of a dance class different world i have to do a lot of like hip-hop self study so it's like me my computer alone in my apartment <laughs> and it's just it's nothing like going to a class and having people on the side being like yeah you've got this i'm always like i do got this it's Completely different energy. I love it. Did I have another point? I think I did. Can I remember it? No. Mm. Hashtag 2023, let's bring back jumping over people. <laughs> I'm so geeked. I love this part. Tuba. Compliments to the chef. Compliments to the chef. Yeah. Man. <sighs> I literally go to college for dance. I want to be able to do that. <laughs> I think one of the reasons why it's so impressive is because they mix this very hip hop style fast footwork, fast percussive, sharp, small to hip hop. And then all of a sudden their leg is just, and you're like, whoa, where did that come from? <laughs> and it's, it's crazy because you miss it. Like you miss it and then you see it and you're like, did they just do a full barrel jump? And you're like, yes, yes, they did. And it's so fast, so fast. You can also hear the backup dancers like, going like, oh, ah, he, oh, he. <laughs> And you can, you just, just, you feel like the pulse of energy that it's like, yeah, 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 yeah.
I love how they have like the soft, like little, um, not soft really, but they have like a moment of a uh, little bit more like <sighs> catch your breath moment. <laughs> and then they have back into this throne kind of football player mode. But I also think it's interesting when you see, especially since they do this one so much in the piece, it, it's really interesting to see how it changes throughout the piece because every single time they do it, they're in a different phase, right? Like at the beginning, they're they're fresh, they're new, they're on the scene, and it's like, let me show you what I can do. And by the end, it's like, I've already shown you basically everything I'm gonna do right now, but I'm gonna still find a way to like, level up every single time I do it. But also I think it's interesting because at this point they're clearly exhausted. And so sometimes this throne kind of quality is almost easier when you're like exhausted because you can't muscle, you can't think too much about it. It's easier to move fast when you throw a little bit more. And so when you're exhausted and you don't have that much energy left to give, you have to be very, um, careful with how you use that energy. So I think it's just interesting how they use their exhaustion to complete the steps. Does that make sense? Oh, they dropped the drumsticks at the end. I didn't know that. I also just like the ending. There's just like this feeling of like bond and camaraderie of like, oh, we made it and like we made it together. Also the dropping of the drumsticks, like a, like a mic drop is kind of fantastic as well. They're like, ha, huh, we just did that. Mic drop. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We have fun here. I also have a second channel where I'm now uploading videos of me dancing. So if you're interested in that, uh, we'll drop that out. I'll have it linked down below. Um, yeah, I think that's all. I hope to see you guys soon and bye. Mm -hmm.